Hello and welcome to this episode of Acrinos Access. I'm your host, Eric Mate, joined today by Joe Sable uh, for a deep dive into a really fascinating concept that I think a lot of our viewers out there are really going to enjoy uh, learning more about. And that is tools of the trade, right? We're talking about modern optical supplies because the fact is this, you know, when we look at modern optometry, modern vision and eye care, you know, having a full scope, fully functioning optical positions practices to hit, hit a next level of performance and growth. And we're really excited today to be joined by uh, an industry veteran uh, who's now um, at the helm as the owner of Western Optical Supply for what I think is sure to be a fascinating conversation. So for starters, um, Joe, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here on Access. Eric, thank you so much. Uh, and, and before anything, I, I just have to thank you, A, and B, give you just props, man. What what I've been seeing you've been doing the last couple of years in particular uh, for the industry and advancing uh, the industry and just doing so much, providing so much education and value out there, man. It's an inspiration. I know I know some ECPs that have been inspired by what you're doing. Uh, so keep up the great work, man. It's, it's tremendous. And I'm humbled and honored to be with you today. Well, hey, Joe, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the kind words. And um and I'll say it, it, it's very much mutual, right? And I think I, I would like to kick off the conversation for you to share a little bit about your your background, right? Because perhaps for some folks in in the Acrinos world, um, they'd be like, Joe Sable, who, who is this guy? So uh, why don't you share a little about your background um, in the in the in the industry? Sure. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, almost 20 years in now uh, with multiple different companies. Uh some uh, most of the big names that most people know the Esslers of the world, the Lombards, Advancing Eye Cares, Wallman, um, Bausch and Lomb. I've kind of made my <laughs> rounds around, and um, uh, yeah, most recently I was with Bausch and Lomb uh, in the dry eye space. And uh, for I was uh, um, prior to that though, I spent om almost six years at Lombard uh, running their head of sales um, and the instrument division. Uh, and uh, part of Advancing Eye Care, and um, prior to that, Walman Instruments for five years, uh, running their sales division as well. Uh, so on the diagnostic instrument side, I have almost 10 years experience on that front. Um, and then prior to that, where I kind of, um, where I'm coming full circle back with with Western is I started at Essilor. My career in, in, uh, in eye care started with Essilor as a brand sales consultant. Uh, so I was covering the state of Wisconsin selling uh, progressive and uh, lenses, technologies, and um, and AR coatings and so forth. And uh, one quick story on that: um, the uh, one of my largest accounts that I, I knocked on the door of uh, first thing, well, you know, my first day on the field. I'm super excited about it, right? Um, she says to me, "I'll never forget this." She says, "You're not ABO certified." I said, "No. In fact, I'm frankly I'm new to the industry. I'm hoping I can learn from you guys." And she just hands me my business card back, and she says, "Well, don't come back till you ABO certified." Okay. A few that, months that, later, that, is that okay? my ABO certification. <laughs> I appreciate the the fact that you know there's a level of expertise that's involved, in, especially in the optical side. Yeah. Uh, so I went out and did that. It was uh, it was tough. It was tough, but it was so worth it. And she was totally kidding when I came back. She was shocked. <laughs> she was shocked. But that's great. You know, here we are. It was worth it. It was worth it. In fact, I developed a couple of ABO presentations uh, from that. I love giving talks and. So I was doing that for a little bit as well. Fascinating. And again, Joe, thank you so much for kind of starting our conversation with sharing a bit about your background, because the fact is this, I mean, you have been around instrumentation, you've been around equipment, you've been around optical from this, from this, this side that quite frankly, when we look at what's happening in the competitive market space, right? The opportunity for independent private practice to feature their optical and feature the full scope of offerings of the optical. Um, that's why I'm really excited to jump into this, right? And, and have this conversation right. about it because quite frankly, and you and I were talking about this before going live today, you know, you need to have the right equipment and the right tools and supplies in the shop to be able to serve patients the degree to which I think a lot of independents would like to be able to serve their patients. I mean, let's face it. It can be a key differentiator of yourself in this ever-growing pool of, 
of competition. Um, and not even to mention online retail and all this other stuff that who knows, you may jump into in, in the conversation. So, Joe, why don't we kick it off and maybe share start by sharing with us just a little snapshot of you know the latest trends in modern optical hardware and instrumentation. Sure. So I'll, I'll be, you know, as part of Western, the owner now, Western Optical Supply, <laughs> you know, tools aren't the most sexy thing in the world. I'm, I'm very cognizant. <laughs> I'm not naive to it. But what one thing I've stressed throughout my entire career is it's all about the patient experience. And there's no different difference in what we're talking about with the tool side and the opticals, because uh, that that is huge. So let, let me give you, you know, a couple scenarios that, you know, it, a plier is not a plier. Let's just say that a, um, a frame warmer is not a frame warmer. Um, you know, you could buy these things on Amazon, sure. Um, but you're going to ultimately get what you pay for. We provide a tremendous level of value and training alongside it because we know that there's a high level or uh, the patient experience is so important uh, to enhance. So, uh, you know, a couple, one recent example that came up was uh, with a, a customer that we've helped. Um, they had a, a patient come in that had a spring hinge um, temple uh, on their frame that broke off, the screw broke off. If you don't have the proper tooling on that, guess what you have to do? You have to send that back to the manufacturer. Sure. To get that fixed and then and send it back. Now, what does that patient have to deal with? If that's their only pair of eyewear, oh, man, that's a yeah. problem. So they called us up. We have a very, very specific tool that uh, is super easy to use. And uh, it's just built for spring hinge pliers. It was developed by the previous owner for this specific scenario that was brought to the table. Uh, and that's another thing that we're, we're always looking to do is 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 develop new tooling. Uh, so we yeah. ask our ECPs all the time, hey, you know, what can we do different? What can we tweak on our current designs? What can what what are you missing in your opticals? And we'll invent something. We'll come up with something. We have some great engineers and designers uh, backing us up that that we're constantly tweaking our things to make their jobs easier and more functional to make that most important thing, that patient experience so much better. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. It, that that that's fascinating. You said it also kicking off with the patient experience, Joe. Because uh, as a matter of fact, I'm noticing here we got a we got a, a, a thumbs up, we got a like there in, nice. in Facebook land from uh, Dr. Tyson Allard. And as a matter of fact, and the reason why I'm bringing him up is because what you were just mentioned about patient experience. You now I came to know Dr. Allard uh, on a on a, a GRT summit event a couple of years cool. back, and. One of the things we were talking about and that he really focuses on in his practice is that patient experience, right? That that the business can be a destination for patients seeking the full scope of vision, medical, specialty eye care, and also where the practice can be a source and the doctor can be a source for even referrals to other healthcare professionals that the patient could, could, could perhaps could perhaps serve. But from your standpoint, talking about this patient experience in, you know, the broken hinge, the case of the broken hinge, right? It is so, it, it is so real. And the opportunity to be able to enhance that experience, turn around that deliverable to the patients in, 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 in lightning time. Yep. You know, when we, when we think of the Joe, it'd be really fascinating. I don't know how we would track the science and run the studies, but it really would be fascinating to see of the of the correlation between patients who can get a same day service deliverable with their with their doctor or with the optical, and that patient's loyalty and long term spend in the practice, right? Because and while we're speaking of optical tools and taking care of, of eyewear, we can think of other aspects of the practice where perhaps there would be a delay. That would interfere with that patient experience. So, um, really, really fascinating stuff. So, while we're talking about this, also, why don't we talk a little bit about? You know, you were mentioning that you guys invent. I mean, you guys have invented some yeah. of these tools, and I, I know you were, you've given me some prior schooling on like Eric, a plier is not a plier. You know, <laughs> a warmer is not a warmer. So, um, why don't you share also a little bit as we're talking about these tools, the usability of them. Right. Because I think also now we're operating a time where 
yeah. you know, some higher, there's higher employee turnover in a lot of markets and there's a lot of dynamics there. So why don't you speak a little bit as far as the usability of, you know, the degree to which you want to have your optical set up so that you could take someone who's a novice and get them onboarded. It's, it's such a, a huge thing, Eric, um, you know, and, and everybody's dealing with it and any market is, is, is hiring and uh, keeping good people. Uh, so when those uh, employees, and I say when, not if in this day and age, when those employees are turning over, then you got to retrain them in the opticals and so forth. And, you know, this is, this is a medical device and, and having somebody put this on is it's, it's a whole, you know, the different, different thing. It's not just putting on a pair of glasses and it's important that the proper adjustments are made for that patient and so forth. And if they're in a, a you know, older patient or, uh, they have a progressive lens or something like that. There's a whole different dynamic that's involved here that's important. So one of the things I've always loved to do, even from back in my SLR days, was just education and training. I love going in and, and training and helping um, you know show opticians how to make those proper adjustments. Which tools are, are for what? We have, there are so many different pliers out there. What's What's what? You know, that's one thing. And and um, and so what we have developed on our website, uh, first of all, is is some great how to videos. There's no obligation to them. There's nothing. Just just go and check them out. They're great YouTube videos for education. So anybody on here, please just go um, uh, just just some basic how to videos um, on uh, what how to use a certain plier. Uh, some great things. I give total kudos to my the previous owner. Uh, Joshua Freilich, uh, 50 years in the business, uh, you know, just the, you know, he's, he's just the man. I'll just say it like that. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And such a tremendous heart of a teacher. And that's what he developed Western on. And that's one of the things that I caught my attention is because that's that's the same heart I have. I love education. Sure. I love training. And so we're here to help make sure your your staff and your tra your opticians are trained and if you have to go if unfortunate circumstances where you got uh, somebody that's turned over will help and and train them again even if it's just the videos but if it's if it's more than that we love in person stuff we're getting involved on um in the opticians associations across uh, the country now um, in the larger optometry associations as well. We are at Vision Expo East. Um, next month, we're going to be at, at the Opticians Association of Wisconsin meeting. Um, and it's all about training. We're just, uh, it's for us, it's not about selling. Um, we know that'll come in, down the road. We'll, we're about education and providing value in that front and, um, and, and so forth. So yeah, we're, um, we, we understand education and training uh, and with staff turnover, especially is such a, uh, a challenge these days for optometrists, especially. So we're here to help. Absolutely. And, and I do want to be sure that everyone, everyone caught that you when know, we're talking about, you know, usability and, and helping opticians and teams adapt and, and utilize these tools, master these tools, um, Head on over to westernoptical.com because you guys do, right, Joe? You, you guys do. And I, I've perused around there as well. A pretty robust catalog of, of how to and trainings and such. So, really, really fascinating stuff here. For those of you just joining us, we're hanging out here at Cuneus Access with Joe Sable for a conversation all around tools of the trade. We're talking mod modern optical supplies. Um, Joe, you, you kind of shared earlier, we we're talking about, you know, Earlier in this, earlier in the, earlier in this conversation, talking about really what it's all about, and that is being like this patient experience. And I'd like to get your take. You know, you've been around the industry for for many years, uh, working with some of the biggest names in industry um, at some pretty high levels as well. So, getting the opportunity to view some data from a from a pretty high national level. What's your take on the competitive environment right now? in optical, in eyewear, um, and particularly as it pertains to to what degree, sure, there's a lot of convenience options out there, but but to what degree do you believe that there's opportunities for independence still to really grow an amazing business driven by a modern optical? 
Yeah, no, that's a great question. And uh, my uh, even coming back from my instrument side, one of the things I always really, really stressed again was still along that patient experience. But on the on the instrument side, what those what those instruments can do uh, to make sure your patients have an, a unique um, high level customer experience, whether it's advanced instrumentation from different OCTs to electronic refraction, those are huge differentiation points that can uh, really create a different higher uh, level of uh, patient experience, even more focusing more on a medical based optometry practice. Uh, that's a big thing. Uh, but then when you get out to that optical, it, it comes down to two is uh, what type of, um, of eyewear you're selling, be unique, have some different frames, have quality frames, um, but have the tools behind it that uh, that are going to make sure those adjustments are done properly um, yeah. and uh, make sure those frames are fitting perfectly for those patients. And I'm telling you, they're going to talk. Um, I was one of them. My, my wife uh, was we first went to, once I got into the industry, we came to a, our optometrist, who's a friend of mine here in town now. And, um, you know, he, he, he created, it was about a patient experience. He, he went through, she's been legally blind in one eye for her whole life. And no one really gave her any explanation as to why. So uh, until we got some, a retinal photo with an OCT done on it. Uh, doctor took it and showed us exactly what was going on. It was something that happened at birth and, and that's it. And I mean, it was a boom wow factor, you know, yeah. and, and there's no, no difference um, on the optical side when you're talking, uh, you know, what the example I brought in earlier, that patient that's, you know, just has a new frame or whatever, then something broke off and you can turn that around immediately. Uh, and um and uh, provide uh, that for them versus sending it out, having them wait, and that experience of having you know no eyewear for or using a backup pair um, at, at best case scenario. Uh, so that that's just all these little things just make such a difference uh, when when we're out there that differentiate, especially the indi indi independent. Um, you know, something I just posted on recently too. Um, you know, I like to post little educational tidbits too, and. And uh, I, I was uh, I got for done for it with a run. And I put on my prescription eyewear, my sunwear, uh, excuse me. And, you know, just the level. I just remember the time I put those uh, those on for the first time and the vision clarity that you get from it. It's just incredible. And I, I you know, why am I why did I get them? Because I'm in the industry, of course. But uh, I didn't know about any of that stuff prior to when I was 30 years old. Why? Because no one told me. Doctors are just generally not, uh, you know, I shouldn't generalize them, but they, they don't want to be selling. And I understand that. I get that. But educate. Do what we're doing. What I'm talking about here is train, educate, show them the value of the vision. This is the most important sense we have in most people's opinion. So tell them about all these cool things that are out there that are going to enhance that vision. Yeah. And, and, and building on that, Joe, you know, talking about that experience, talking about the being able to provide that deliverable. And it, I mean, man, it is so real. You know, I, I think of the times where my wife has been without her eyewear. She's a, she's a pretty high RX, a minus six and a minus five, seven, five. And, and think of, think of the, 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 the impact that has. And now to think of well, the degree to which patients experience this stuff all the time. All the time. And when you think of how, how they're getting by with this stuff, um, and quite frankly, it just kind of all ties back to huge opportunity for the modern optical or the modern practice to fully yeah. modernize the optical through having the instrumentation necessary to really make the, the, the most precise adjustments um, and really see to it that we're serving the patient kind of end to end. Mm -hmm. If we're thinking about, you mentioned the medical practice. I mean, doctors are growing these advanced full scope optometry practices to get the optical instrumentation and functionality and fine tuning at the same level of other aspects of care. Absolutely. Um, just huge, huge, huge value add there. So Joe, um, why don't we, as we're, as we're starting to kind of, kind of pull things together here, I'd like you to um, maybe share, you know, for those listeners, those viewers out there, they're kind of like, yeah, wow, it's, it's time to really like assess my optical, get things up to par. 
perhaps those viewers that are starting their first practice, right? Cold started practice. Why don't you share like, where should doctors start? You know, for the doctors thinking like, wow, this is really cool. I would like my practice to also become known for not only the highest level of care and the highest quality of products, but also the highest quality of craftsmanship That's with right. our adjustments in the optical, you know, where to start, where to start as far as updating things. So first things for, uh, you can definitely contact me personally. I, I love getting those calls. I just had one an hour ago. That was a blast. Uh, somebody just called in and was just asking some questions again, didn't order anything. And that's cool. I, I That'll come. I get it. I love just talking and educating people out there. So call, uh, call us up or go to our um, email me. You just had it up there. Um, Joe at westernoptical.com. We'll set up a time we can chat. Um, I'd love to, uh, to help you out in any way I can. The other side is just go to our website. We have some great kind of kits to start. Like we have a starter kit or a, um, a couple other levels of kits that uh, will Kind of give you the basics to start, uh, the basics of the good quality tools that you're going to need on for about 95% of your adjustment needs. Uh, so um, that uh, we have a great uh, pricing for that uh, bundle price, of course, with uh, some discounts uh, because of that. So kind of give you that uh, no brainer. Hey, this is this will get you get you by for just about everything you need. So that'll uh, help. But then also to look at the videos and, and ask, go through the questions. We have a, a thing and how to pick the right pliers. So educate yourself on that. Um, and then of course, yeah, uh, call us up uh, anytime. Um, uh, call me up anytime. We'd love to, to help you out uh, in any way we can. Joe, I tell you what, really, really fascinating insights across the board here. You know, when we're looking at this extraordinary public health need for vision correction, I mean, really, it's like more and more folks are needing eye care and eyewear. Uh, more patients are purchasing eyewear, although it doesn't always feel like it in every practice because now it's an ever more competitive environment. And um, I got to tell you, man, I, I really appreciate you joining us on this episode of Access to, to help doctors and opticians kind of understand more of this world of how do we equip this practice, tools of the trade, for modern optical supplies. Um, and I'll also say this for our viewers out there, you know, Acrinos is very proud to partner with Western Optical and uh, they do some amazing things. Um, so also in addition to reaching out to Joe, Joe directly, you're welcome to reach out to us and um, you'll see some of these amazing things that Acrinos and Western Optical do uh, to set doctors up for success, right? So uh, Joe Sable, thank you so much for joining Thank us you. here Absolutely. on this episode of Acrinos Access. Um, viewers, if y'all would like to uh, learn more about uh, the world of modern optical and check out some of those training videos also, head on over to westernoptical.com. Uh, Joe is always open to conversation. You can email him directly, joe at westernoptical.com. I know he also frequents LinkedIn a mm -hmm. bit. So there's uh, in LinkedIn land, be sure to, to connect. So, uh, Eric, thank you so much. And again, kudos to whatever all you're doing with the Carinos. And it's, it's awesome. Inspiring. Absolutely. Well, hey, thanks so much, Joe. Thank you. And uh, thank, thank you, you for joining us on this episode of Acrinos Access. For all y'all out there looking to start, grow, or transition your practice, uh, head on over to Acrinos. Uh, check out all the cool things we've got going on, connecting with amazing visionaries like Joe across the industry. And also check out the ways that Acrinos can help you achieve that next business milestone. And be sure to follow us across the socials. On behalf of uh, our guest, Joe Sable, uh, our team at Acrinos, I am Eric Matei signing off. <laughs>